Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back in Diana's kitchen. Today I'm excited to cook empanadas. And th thank you to all my subscribers. So far, I think I have like less than 50 subscribers. And I thank all of them who's been subscribing, who's been watching. And today, this video will be in two parts. Shallots, you're probably wondering why it's so big. It's Italian shallot. Green peas, of course you need fresh ground pepper. My seasoning, this is my secret seasoning. I use it every day, is the herbamar. And then I need olive oil, sweet potato, Jacama, Jacama, I think. In the Philippines, we call these sinkamas. And of course, the main ingredient is I'm going to do chicken empanada. So you need the ground chicken. Okay, so let's start with the chicken filling of the empanada. So let's start. Traditionally, I just use regular potatoes, carrots, and green peas. By the way, again, you can eat this raw. We back home we put salt and then we just eat it it's just want to let you know because some people are asking me if the if they click subscribe if they have to pay no it's free as long as you have email address gmail at gmail automatic you can subscribe now if you don't have gmail you can create one. It's really easy. It takes like less than five minutes. It's like creating your own Facebook, just like that. You can register, sign in, create your own email address on the Gmail, and then click subscribe and you're done. You can leave messages below, comments, you can Click like because you can't leave comments below if you're not a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber to leave comments below. Okay, so let's continue dicing all the veggies. I forgot to mention earlier that I also need raisins. I'm going to chop this, the raisins. So I only need probably half a cup, half a cup of um raisins I'm ready to saute all this ingredient need at least two tablespoon of olive oil or onions Herbamare, herbamare, herbamare. See, it's herb sea salt infused with organic herbs and vegetables. Good try. a little bit of chicken stock because you don't want to dry up so it's about half half a cup leave it for about 
probably five minutes in a low heat. So I just left it on four right now. So while I'm waiting, I have this, the uh, cornstarch and a little bit of brown sugar. I'm gonna put water. So this is my thickening agent. One tablespoon of cornstarch and teaspoon of brown sugar. So I'm gonna use this after five minutes. I'm going to put it here. Let's see. So now I'm ready to put this. This is my thick, you need a little bit thickened because you know when you put it in the empanada, make sure it's, you know, they're a little bit stuck together. So that's all you need. Just a little bit of thickening agent. I use cornstarch, one tablespoon, and turn off the heat, and you're done. So here it is. It's ready to go inside the fridge. I will leave it there overnight because I want to make sure it's really cold. So for the meantime, I will do the uh, pastry. Again, um, the second part of the vid video will be uh, how to wrap this filling that I just did. It I'm gonna start the uh, pastry. I'm going to make the pastry. all the dry ingredients and you're wondering why am I using this plastic tray well I don't I don't want to put it on the counter right now because I'm gonna make such a big mess <laughs> so this plastic tray I bought it at the dollar store for many years ago and it serves the purpose. I use it all the time. So what you do, you slice it thinly, put it there again. I don't have a proper tool to mix the butter with my flour. I always use my knife. <laughs> it's easier for me when I use the knife. So cut them really small using this technique for the last few years. Yeah, the, uh, the butter is actually hard because uh, I don't leave it in the room temperature. I like it when it's hard like Or use your hands now. beaten eggs and then I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of ice water or water we can add more later but for now sit put it in the middle and you go like that Slowly, there we go. Ew, gooey. Yikes. Sits in the fridge. Let it sit. See how nice this one is. Everything together with the filling so it's nice ready to go for tomorrow 